What's up world, back at it. That's the end of day one here in Istanbul, Turkey. What a day. But there were a couple of highlights from today that really stood out. The first one is after I crossed over the bridge, I can't remember what part of town, I'll put it in the description or, or something. But I crossed over the bridge and I'm walking up towards the Salt place. It's good. It used to be an Ottoman bank and then they turned it into a museum and there's art installations. It's a co-working space. It's a cafe. Really well done. Nicely appointed. Lots of staircases. Just super dope in, in the way that they're doing their things over there. Anyway, I'm on my way up the hill to this place and I see this guy walking with a stool. And you can tell he's a shoe shiner. Pegged him from miles away. He walks generally in my direction, and then as he's like just getting past me, his, his brush falls and drops on the street, and he continues walking past. And me, being a naturally good citizen, whistle and say, hey, 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 dropped your brush. And he's like, oh my God, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Wow, like, really appreciate that. I need that really badly. And then he's like, for you, I shine shoes, I shine shoes. Now mind you, I don't want my shoes shined by anybody. If I'm wearing leather shoes, I shine them myself. But I'm wearing sneakers, so especially not interested in getting my sneakers shined or cleaned or whatever. Like, that's how you mess them up. Just not interested in general. It's just him pegging me as a foreigner. So he sits down and he's like, oh, gentlemen to gentlemen, I take care of you, I take care of you. And I'm just like, nah, I don't need it, man, I'm out of here. And I'm walking away, and as I'm walking away, he's calling me back. There's a guy in the apartment building, right kitty corner, and he's like five stories up, and he yells down at the guy, stop it, you do this every day, you do it every day, stop it, leave him alone. And I just walk and get on my way. And then it hits me, his tactic is to drop the brush as anyone's walking past him so that a good mark, a citizen, a person who he wants to work with and wants to pay and get money out of will call him out and pick his brush up and hand it to him so that he can then start the conversation about shining shoes as opposed to pitching really, really hard about shining the shoes. And what I love about this is it's genius. It, it plays on the, the natural human nature to help somebody. It, it starts a conversation, and, but what I don't like is it's a scam, obviously, because you didn't actually drop your brush. You don't actually want to help me out and shine my shoes or whatever. You're actually trying to cheat me into forcing me to pay for something because you're going to be like, oh, shine. Oh, but I did this for you. And you want to guilt me into something, which is a terrible way to do business. But I, I, I was walking around. I was like, man, that's smart. How can we flip this? into something that actually works well and makes the person on the other end feel good or have a good laugh about it. So I haven't figured that out yet, but this video is an example of this is a way, if you can figure this type of thing out for your business or whatever you're working on, what's your drop the brush moment that you can start a conversation? I don't want anything fake or anything nefarious or something that's purposely done to manipulate someone into feeling guilty and having to spend money with you, that's not a way to have a good customer or a long-term customer. However, the, the brush drop, the, oh, the moment that gets someone out of their normal every day and lets their guard down to open them up to a conversation, that is a beautiful lesson and that I'm thankful for. So once I pegged that and I was walking, I was like, man, this is genius. And I'm from New York City. I'm always watching over my shoulder. I keep my hands in my pockets. Like I'm always tapping, I'm checking everything. I, I do my best to not flash anything that I have. I'm mean, walking with a camera, like I got my cell phone, I got my wallet, I have some cash, whatever. And I see somebody looking at me and like out of the corner of his eye and I, I, I peg these people immediately. So about 10 minutes after this, I'm walking around and I see another guy, another shoe shiner who pegs me, he's walking past me, doesn't know that I see him. He stops, looks over, looks down at my shoes, looks up. And then he runs past past me up the hill and then turns around again and then drops his brush. And I just was like, this is a thing. This is the thing that they do. And another gentleman who's probably 10 yards in front of me walking in the opposite direction as me points to the guy, oh, you dropped it. And I went on my way and didn't pay any attention. But that's proof that it's a scam and that's a thing they do to get people's attention. 
Now, I love the idea and the bones of it make a lot of sense for, for how to get someone's attention. But we want to do this in a way that's not manipulative. And I'm still working on this and I want to figure out a right way to do it for what I'm working on and for what you're working on. But comment below if you have an idea on how to do a, a brush drop moment that gets people's attention, opens them up to a conversation, and then allows you to enter in and talk a little bit more about what it is that you can do and how what you do can help them get what they want. I didn't want my shoe shine, so there was no conversation there. And he was manipulating me into thinking I would be getting something for free in an effort to then sell me something. And I, I kind of get it. I've seen there, I've been there, I've, I've been around stuff like this. But I think there's a good nugget of how to do this, get someone's attention, get the emotion, get them to drop their guard. And I'm going to think about this over the next couple of days and share whatever results I come up with a little bit later on this channel. So that was a huge highlight from here on day one here in Istanbul.